Alright, so today I'm going to show you all what I got at Rockingham uh, at the North Carolina Education 200 and I'm going to show you all what I got in the mail today and just one thing I got in the mail a long time ago. So we'll start off with the hero card right here. Got this in the mail. I don't even know. Like a few few weeks ago. It's Trevor Bain. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I got like I don't even know how many, probably five. I got a handful. Um, it's always nice. I think I, I don't even remember sending Cargill anything, but you know what? I appreciate free stuff, and I'm not going to say no to it. Next thing, I got this car right here, Steve Park, Old Blue, 2011 Impala. It's a tribute car. Um... It's real nice. It was a promo, which I love promos, and I collect them. And it was it was five dollars, which is a steal, I think, in my opinion, because eBay has them listed quite higher than that. But a lot of them come with like this set of hero cards and stuff. But yeah, it's a real nice car. And uh, hope y'all can read that. Maybe not. It's pretty nice. Next. I'm glad that Front Row Motorsports gets a die cast made for David Reagan and uh, I'm showing my support with the Where's Waldo right here. It's a 2012 car. Um, I don't know if I can find Waldo on a 164 or not, but I guess I'll give it a shot. Looks like he's on the hood. Uh, just This looks like a nice car and I believe he ran it at Martinsville last year and yeah, that's pretty nice. Next, I got a 2013 Ricky Stenhouse Best Buy car. Um, it's pretty nice. Nothing, nothing amazing about it. It's just pretty much the same scheme that Matt had last year in the 17. You know, obviously a different number, new one for Stenhouse, and uh, I like how the drivers have you know somewhat personalized boxes like they used to, they're getting back to that instead of just the team boxes and yeah I mean I'm gonna still show my support for Stenhouse and uh, even though I'm a Kenseth fan but there's that now I'm gonna show show off two cars that I got in the mail and I saved the tape and stuff for now because this is gonna be a fun time and I'm going to need both hands to do this, so I'm going to lay this down. Alright. Hoping I don't lose a finger here. It would certainly be a negative thing to happen. Well, I'll start off with saying I got these two cars off of eBay. They're both 2013s. And I think there's enough popcorn to kill a man right there. And uh, let's throw that out the way. We'll start off with this nice car. It's a Matt Kenseth uh, 2013 Dollar General. Obviously, new team, Joe Gibbs Racing. He just got caught. Well, I wouldn't say caught because he didn't do anything intentionally, but they uh, they fined him and all the team for saying they had a uh, connector rod that was a little bit too light, you know, a few cotton balls, but I think that's ridiculous, $200,000 to a crew chief, a man who never touched that part on the car, but whatever. And, yeah, this is a nice car. Um been pretty hard to find so far they show up on ebay and you know maybe a group of 10 or something and they get sold pretty fast and finally got to get one but all right so here is this car they had a nice packaging job i will be i'm not sure what i'm going to do about this but um yeah that is that is awful in general, that is awful. Uh, it's a nice car, but clearly it's not 
Yeah, there, there's not much you can say about that. That's just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see the amount of popcorn and crap. And this thing still manages to get... Uh, you know, I, I don't understand it. But it's a 2013 Husky new team, of course. He just won in this car. And he won in this car earlier in the year, but... Like I said, they're pretty much stripping this win from him. And, yeah, I'll just show all my cars and whatnot in one last shot. And then we will... Oh. Then we'll cut this video off. Thanks for watching. This has been Can I Get a Yellow? Um, see you later.